Hello, future teacher. Welcome to our comprehensive guide for passing the multi-subject Teachers of Childhood Test, proudly presented by TeacherPreps.com. Let's get you 100% prepared for test day by first understanding that this test is divided into three sections, each evaluating essential competencies for elementary teaching. Part three focuses on arts and sciences. This section consists solely of selected response questions and must be completed within 60 minutes. Preparing for this test can feel daunting, but it doesn't have to. Give yourself instant access to the timed practice tests, targeted study guides, engaging video lessons, and AI essay graders from teacherpreps.com to make passing the multi-subject Teachers of Childhood exam simple. Welcome to teacherpreps.com. Today, we're tuning into the world of music education so that you will be completely prepared for this section for your teacher certification exam. Let's begin at the heart of music education with hands-on instrument experience. Imagine a musical petting zoo where students can touch, play, and hear different instruments, from a hand drum to a violin. This tactile approach not only sparks curiosity, but also deepens students' understanding of how music is produced. Engagement is crucial in music education. Incorporate interactive learning techniques such as musical chairs to teach rhythm, or a name that tune game to enhance listening skills and music recognition. In today's digital age, technology can be a game changer in music education. Utilize apps to bring complex musical concepts to life. Remember that music doesn't exist in a vacuum. Your exam administrators want you to demonstrate your understanding of linking music lessons to historical events, mathematical patterns, or literary themes. For instance, while studying the civil rights movement, include iconic songs from that era to provide a richer understanding of the historical context. Next up, foster a safe classroom environment where students feel comfortable sharing their musical experiences. Regular discussions about concerts attended, personal practice, or new songs discovered can stimulate a musical dialogue that enriches the learning environment for everyone. Expose students to a wide array of musical styles, from classical to jazz, from rock to electronic. Each week, introduce a new genre. Discuss its characteristics, history, and cultural significance. A solid grasp of music terminology is essential for effective communication in the classroom. Use musical terminology in discussions to build students' vocabulary. Keep in mind that music also serves as a bridge for cultural exchange. If on your exam, you'll receive a multiple-choice question about how to integrate the power of music in a social studies lesson, look for answer solutions such as teaching the influence of African rhythms on American jazz and blues, showcasing how music can be a product of multicultural influences. Likewise, if on exam day, you receive a question where you need to select the most appropriate response between music and the cultural background of your students, help your students gain insights into the diversity and richness of global musical heritage. Remember, teaching music is about more than notes and rhythms. It's about understanding its broader impact on society and culture. For more resources and tips on passing your teacher certification exam, visit teacherpreps.com. Thanks for tuning into this lesson, and I'll see you in the next. Hello, future educator. Are you ready to learn about the dynamic world of physical education and prepare to pass your teacher certification exam with flying colors? Let's get moving. Key principles of physical education. Physical education, or PE, is not just about playing sports. It's about understanding the science behind a healthy, active lifestyle. As future PE teachers, you'll be the champions promoting cardiovascular endurance, muscular strength, flexibility, weight control, and nutrition. Cardiovascular endurance. Imagine your heart and lungs working together like a well-oiled machine, pumping oxygen-rich blood to those active muscles during a high-energy game of soccer. That's cardiovascular endurance. To boost this, integrate activities like running, swimming, and cycling into your lessons. Remember, a strong heart equals a longer, healthier life. Muscular strength. Next up, let's talk about power. Muscular strength is all about how much force your muscles can exert in one go. Think about the satisfaction of completing that final push-up or lifting a personal best in weightlifting. Flexibility. Now, reach for the sky. Flexibility is the range of motion available in your joints. It's essential for overall fitness and injury prevention. Incorporate yoga and stretching routines to keep those muscles long and limber. Weight control. Balancing the scales is next. Weight control is about managing body weight through exercise and nutrition. Teach your students the importance of an active lifestyle combined with a balanced diet to maintain a healthy body weight. 
nutrition, fueling the body correctly is paramount. A well-balanced diet supports all types of physical activities. Educate your students on macronutrients, micronutrients, and meal planning to optimize their energy and health. Benefits of an active lifestyle. An active lifestyle isn't just about physical health. It's a comprehensive benefit package for mental, social, and emotional well-being. Physical health benefits. Promote activities to your students like aerobics improve heart and lung function, while strength training builds robust bones and muscles. Mental health enhancements. Teach stress reduction through yoga and boost brain health with strategic games that enhance cognitive function. Disease prevention. Regular physical activity is your best defense against lifestyle diseases like diabetes and obesity. Social and emotional well-being. Sports and team activities foster social skills, boost self-esteem, and build confidence. Longevity and quality of life. Stay active, stay independent. Teach the importance of lifelong physical activity to enjoy a high-quality life well into old age. Innovative teaching strategies. Technology and fitness. Embrace apps to make fitness tracking and community engagement part of your teaching toolkit. Movement principles. Teach students about body awareness, spatial awareness, and the importance of movement in daily life through interactive games and activities. Linking PE with academic learning. Use sports to teach mathematical angles or discuss the physics behind a soccer ball's trajectory. Integrate health and nutrition education to reinforce science-based learning. Understanding movement concepts, body awareness. What is it? Recognizing and understanding the parts of the body and their capabilities. Teach students to identify how joints like elbows and knees bend and move. A simple activity could involve students pointing to and naming body parts as they perform various movements, such as bending the elbow or rotating the knee. Spatial awareness. What is it? Knowing about the space around oneself and how to navigate it effectively. Use yoga poses on a mat to demonstrate how students can be aware of and respect their personal space and the space of others. This can be a fun class session where each student has a mat and learns to perform movements within their designated area. Effort awareness. What is it? Understanding the amount of energy required for different types of movements. When teaching how to throw a ball, instruct students on adjusting their force to reach near and far targets. Relationship awareness. What is it? Learning how to move in relation to other people, objects, and the overall environment. Set up an obstacle course where students must navigate around cones, under ropes, and through hoops. Developing and assessing physical education, knowledge, and skills. You'll need a strategic approach combining diverse teaching strategies, assessment methods, and resources to effectively engage students. Diverse teaching strategies. Technology and equipment. Incorporate fitness apps and heart rate monitors to enhance learning and provide immediate feedback. Collaborative learning. Foster teamwork and social skills through group activities and sports. Enhancing the educational experience through peer interaction. Assessment methods. Formative assessments. Use quizzes and practical demonstrations regularly to check for understanding. Summative assessments. Evaluate learning at the end of a unit or semester through tests or projects that encompass a range of skills and knowledge. Self-assessments. Encourage students to assess their own progress and set personal goals, fostering a sense of responsibility and self-awareness. Adaptation for inclusivity. Differentiated instruction. Tailor activities to meet the diverse needs of all students, ensuring everyone can participate and learn effectively. Cultural considerations. Integrate culturally diverse activities to engage students from different backgrounds and broaden the educational scope. Resources for learning enhancement. Professional development. Stay updated with the latest trends and methodologies in physical education to continually enhance your teaching skills. Community programs. Leverage partnerships with local sports teams and health organizations to bring additional resources and real-world relevance to your lessons. Ethical considerations in physical education. Ethical communication in PE is vital for fostering an environment of respect, inclusivity, and positive reinforcement. Respectful language. Always use inclusive language that respects all backgrounds and abilities, ensuring every student feels valued. Constructive feedback. Provide feedback that helps improve skills without causing discouragement. For example, instead of saying, don't do it that way, say, try adjusting your stance for better balance, privacy, and confidentiality. Discuss sensitive issues privately to maintain student dignity and trust. Encouragement and motivation. Use positive affirmations to inspire and engage students, focusing on effort and improvement rather than just natural ability. Wonderful job with this lesson. 
Now, log into teacherpreps.com and take this physical education practice test to apply your learnings to questions similar to the ones you'll receive on test day. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next lesson. In preparing for your teacher certification exam, it's important to understand how health behaviors influence the body's systems. Let's get you 100% ready to master the health education section of your exam. Let's start with nutrition. Remember that a diet rich in fiber, balanced in protein, and low in processed sugars significantly enhances digestive health and boosts metabolism. Moving on to physical activity, keep in mind that regular exercise strengthens the heart and muscles and plays a critical role in mental health by reducing stress and anxiety. Be on the lookout for answer options that help students appreciate the value of staying active. Furthermore, avoiding harmful substances like tobacco and excessive alcohol helps us and our students make healthy life choices. Stress management is next. Techniques like mindfulness and yoga are effective ways to reduce stress-related symptoms like high blood pressure and fatigue. Next, don't forget the role of sleep. Ensuring you get enough sleep is essential for cognitive function, immune strength, and overall health. Then we have preventive health care. We need to teach our students that regular health screenings play a vital role in disease prevention. Moving on to our next topic, which is preventing violence and abuse. On your teacher certification exam, you will likely encounter a question regarding the appropriate actions to take if you suspect that a student is experiencing physical, emotional, or sexual abuse. Remember, as a teacher, you are a mandated reporter, responsible for the safety and well-being of your students. This knowledge is not only essential for passing your exam, but also integral to your role in safeguarding your students once you begin your teaching career. Additionally, understand that neglect is often indicated by poor hygiene or malnourishment. Let's now transition to the safety, accident prevention, and emergency response section of your exam. Creating a safe environment involves a thorough understanding of potential hazards and implementing proactive safety strategies. First, Risk assessment involves identifying potential hazards in your classroom or school environment. Second, safety protocols should be established and enforced, including clear procedures for handling accidents or incidents. Third, emergency response training, such as certification in first aid, CPR, and AED usage, is essential for teachers. Conducting regular emergency drills like fire, earthquake, or lockdown drills can prepare both you and your students for unexpected situations. Furthermore, incorporating health and safety education into your teaching practice helps build a culture of safety and preparedness. Likewise, creating a welcoming environment is the cornerstone of fostering a positive classroom atmosphere. It's all about making each student feel valued and understood. Respecting diversity and inclusion should be a non-negotiable aspect of your teaching and the tone you set in your classroom. This involves acknowledging and valuing the diverse backgrounds and perspectives that each student brings to the classroom. Lastly, encouraging peer interaction helps build a classroom environment where respectful communication and cooperation are the norm, not the exception. Now, prepare to pass your teacher certification exam with confidence by taking the health education practice test at teacherpreps.com. Thank you for watching and good luck on test day. Hello, future teacher. Let's set the stage for helping you get a pass on your teacher certification exam with this test prep lesson all about theater education. Starting with elements of drama. Let's start with the plot, the backbone of any theatrical piece. It's the sequence of events that rivets the audience's attention from start to finish. Next, we explore the theme, which is the underlying moral or message woven throughout the play. Dialogue is next. Those carefully crafted words spoken by characters that reveal their inner worlds, thoughts, feelings, and distinctive personalities, one line at a time. Don't forget the music and rhythm. Whether it's a musical score at school or a dialogue in a drama, this element adds an auditory depth and emotional texture that enriches the performance. Let's talk about the spectacle in theater, those amazing costumes, the detailed sets, and the cool special effects that make you feel like you're part of the story. For your teacher certification exam, look for answer options that help engage the students with the story being told. Next, we're moving to conventions of theater. Starting with the aside, imagine a character covertly sharing secrets directly with the audience, not meant for the ears of others on stage. This creates an intimate bond with the audience, making them feel like insiders to hidden truths. Now, consider the soliloquy. This is where a character reveals their innermost thoughts aloud. 
These moments are raw, offering a profound insight into the character's emotions and motivations. As a teacher, guiding students to understand and perform soliloquies can significantly enhance their empathetic skills and comprehension of character complexity. Breaking the fourth wall is another engaging technique. Characters step out of their narrative world and speak directly to the audience, merging the realms of play and reality. Flashbacks offer a narrative tool that transports the audience back in time to uncover critical backstory or past events, enriching the current plot and deepening the audience's understanding of the character's motivations and the storyline. Role doubling is fascinating, too. Here, an actor portrays multiple characters, adding a layer of complexity to the performance and offering economic benefits to the production. It demonstrates the versatility of the actors and provides a rich opportunity to discuss characterization in the classroom. Narration helps to bridge gaps in the story, offering insights, setting scenes, or commenting on the action in ways that dialogue and action alone might not convey. Engaging students in theater arts can be transformative. Interactive storytelling, for example, lets students step into characters' shoes, enhancing their grasp of the narrative structure and character development through actual performance. Improvisation exercises are invaluable for fostering spontaneity and creativity, encouraging students to think quickly and adaptively. Role play allows students to explore a wide range of emotions and scenarios, facilitating a deep understanding of complex human dynamics in a supportive environment. In selecting materials, choosing scripts, and play texts that resonate with your students' ages and cultural backgrounds ensures that they remain engaged and find personal relevance in the material. When designing activities, having students create and stage their own scenes lets them apply their knowledge practically using elements like lighting, sound, and costumes to bring their visions to life. As you gear up for your certification exam, remember that teaching theater is not just about understanding dramatic techniques and elements. It's about igniting a passion for the arts in your students and empowering them to express themselves creatively. Make sure you are completely prepared for the theater section of your exam by giving yourself full access to our test preparation materials at teacherpreps.com. Welcome, future teacher, to our test prep class, all about the visual arts section to help you pass your teacher certification exam. Ready? Let's begin. First up, engaging students in visual arts activities. On your exam, you will be asked to demonstrate your knowledge of how to cultivate interest and understanding of visual arts among students. Remember, the answer you select should highlight using a mix of media like clay, digital tools, and watercolors to keep students engaged. Find solutions on your multiple choice exam that incorporate technology, which helps make learning more interactive. If you receive a question that asks why these instructional strategies are effective, look for solutions that explain the importance of giving students a platform to showcase their work. Next, let's talk about developing perception through visual arts. If the exam asks you to identify the most effective approach to enhance students' observational skills, look for answer options that use student journals, drawings, and other interactive activities. Furthermore, be ready to select answers that use discussions on artworks from diverse cultures to broaden students' interpretive skills. Moving on to instructional strategies. Remember that the use of sensory walks and digital tools that compare different environmental settings spark young learners' creativity. Look for options that emphasize reflective critique sessions, where students discuss their environmental art projects, as this promotes deeper understanding and critical thinking. Moving on, Critical thinking and creative problem-solving in art perception is another vital area. You will likely need to answer how art can be used to develop these skills. Select the best answer that includes the use of questioning techniques to encourage deeper analysis of art. If you are asked to select an instructional strategy, look for one that uses role play. Your teacher's certification exam will also cover topics within the elements of art. These include key terms like line, shape, color, and texture. Look for answer options that introduce these elements through practical, hands-on activities. When it comes to techniques to create art in various media, be ready to identify specific techniques associated with different media. The correct answers will likely involve demonstrating these techniques through comprehensive workshops and possibly the inclusion of expert guest artists to enhance the learning experience. Cultural influences in art often appear as a question about how to integrate art from various cultures into the curriculum. The best answers on your teacher certification exam will suggest using cross-curricular approaches, such as combining an art history lesson that covers a broad range of cultures and encourages students to explore and present art forms from their own or different cultures. Next up, 
we have teaching visual literacy, which is an important topic on your exam. If you receive a question on test day about how to use visual thinking strategies to enhance students' ability to analyze and discuss artworks critically, scan the answer options for solutions that utilize activities involving the identification and application of art elements and principles. Last in this lesson, we have effective art instruction and assessment. This is all about differentiating instruction and using both formative and summative assessments effectively. On your test, choose options that reflect the use of varied instructional approaches tailored to diverse learning needs and assessments that provide constructive feedback. Want to make sure you've mastered all these technical terms so you can pass your teacher certification exam? Log in to teacherpreps.com now and take the visual arts practice test. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next lesson.